thank you. Okay then, welcome to the new Bob and Ramon show. Good afternoon, episode folks. Episode number one. Episode number one, new format, shorter video. Yep. Um, we are uh, in the east of England today uh, with mm -hmm. our friend David, who you're going to see a little later. Uh, he was playing keyboards in the background there uh, to see uh, a really quite delicious collection of ES, that's these guitars, and then some SGs. Okay, so Bob, what are you? What are we holding here? You actually have got a very similar guitar to this. Yeah, yourself, well, this this old piece of rubbish uh, is from 1959, uh, mm. and uh, it's very similar to the one that I've got and uh, been on the show before. It's at least as good. Um, plays like a dream. Uh, I think the strings are a bit newer than mine, so it's bright. It's a joy. So it's a Sunburst, super clean, 59 uh, ES335. Path pickups, uh, both double black bobbins. Um, what more to say? It's it's mm -hmm. straight and as is in lovely condition. No belt buckle. Lovely sunburst. Tobacco sunburst. Um, yeah. A bit of red well, there. What's there? Some it's, red. It's it? It kind of it's it's nice kind of yellow going into brown. The red layer is very yeah. thin on this, which is lovely. Right. Um, Delicious Brazilian rosewood foot fingerboard. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's uh, the fifty nine necks are. Not too fat, but not too thin. So there's a fair amount of meat in here. Uh, a really, really lovely guitar. I mean, the, basically, it, it, like in Stratocasters, you probably need a 57 and a 62. In 335s, you really want a 59 and you want a 64. And this is a 964. And this was actually made one week after the famed Eric Clapton 335 that yeah. he used on the... Uh the last concert, the farewell concert at Royal Albert Hall with Cream. Yeah. That's where it was kind of seen. And um, so really this is kind of begging for the... Um, the old it's got that great sort of barking... So we're playing sound. through a pair of um, vintage Gibson amps of the same period. Uh, so everything's pretty authentic here and what you can tell pretty quickly despite the different, slightly different amps we're playing through this guitar is quite shouty it's got much more kind of uh, high treble and punch and it, it basically sounds like the Clapton guitar and these it's are the patent, like, patent number and they're patent number pickups yeah, which is yeah. basically same pickups once Gibbs got the patent for these pickups it took the stickers off mm -hmm. the PAF patent applied for stickers and they put patent number pickups on instead and, and, d and the great thing about this guitar is david its owner is a really cool guy he's since the early 80s he's been using this as his main guitar yep well for his early it's not yeah. a closet queen no that, that, it, obviously it's got the block inlay markers on the neck because they were introduced in 62 the other big difference uh is that it's got nylon saddles which again is correct for that slightly later mm -hmm. period for my personal taste, I don't like the, the sound or feel of the nylon sad saddles as much, um, but it is absolutely part and parcel of this guitar. So this guitar is louder, bitier, sharper, probably a little less smooth and sustainy, would you say? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Clapton would have had these nylon saddles. I think so. Yes, yeah. So. Yeah. So I mean, in, in any way, if you're that fussy <coughs> about it, I mean, you can substitute you know, a, a set of metal saddles for about four mm. pounds to do keep, an AB. Keep, yeah. keep these in the case, and if you want, ever want to restore it, it's a completely vintage mm -hmm. original, that's how it is. Even the colour of the switch tip, this is yellowed, which yep. would be in the late 50s, that's whiter, which is characteristic of 64. So these are pristine examples of the two most iconic 335s. So question, Bob, is the uh, nut width on the 59 the same as a, as a 64? Uh, I think it is. Can yeah. I have a grope of yours, please, sir? Because I'm... Is it not a little bit narrower? It, it? Well, this is interesting, because the neck is definitely thinner, which is... Mm characteristic so basically necks in 58 the necks were quite big 59 they thin out a bit but they're still really chunky by the middle of 60 they're getting quite skinny and they stay that way for 61 the and then they, suit, then they so begin to fatten up in 62 63 mm -hmm. 64 and that's what that is right so that's kind of going back that's to skinnier that. than this yeah. but not as skinny as they went in between 60 61 right right so that's quite interesting. So and it plays uh, great. It's lovely to play. I mean, for me, you know, the, the Holy Grail 335 for me is this one because this is what Clapton played at the Royal Albert Hall farewell yep. cream concert, you know, and yep. he just looks so cool with this red, beautiful red finished 335 with a yep. block, with a block in as opposed to the dots that the 59 had. Yeah, you know? yeah. Which is kind of interesting why um, Gibson went from the dots to the blocks, you know, because this, this would have been, I think, on the 355s, which I yeah. think we, we're going to... Um, in part two yeah yeah um they had the blocks but it's interesting why they went to the blocks 
instead of the the dots. Well, know? I think the other thing is, I mean, the, the you know, the, all the Gibson's fancier guitars had more detailed inlays, even in the fifties. All jazz boxes, like you know, L5s and Super Four Hundreds, had really mm-hmm. elaborate stuff. And I think the Gibson wanted to. They, they thought mm, dots. Yeah, bit pony, isn't it? Yeah, let's step it up to blocks. Yeah, maybe it was like a feedback that they were getting from yeah. the dealers. You yeah, know, could be. It, and could the three three zero would have had dots on it, obviously. So. No, three three zero went to blocks as well. They did. Oh, yeah, right, they okay. did. Yeah, okay. yeah. So there you go. Alvin Lee played a red three thirty five at Woodstock. He did. Was it sixty four? It wasn't. It oh wasn't god, I've got I've I've got to look it up because I can't remember whether his guitar had dots. So. It, I think it was a three three five dot, which would make it a sixty two. Yeah, because it had d- a lot of stickers, didn't it? it had some and stickers. It had there. a yeah C N D sticker. Yeah, it had a, a single pickup drilled into the middle position. One of the most famous three thirty fives ever. Really. Absolutely. I've, I've well, because of that appearance it. at Woodstock. I mean, that performance yeah. at Woodstock. Yeah. Is pretty incredible. Yeah, but it kind of like really imprinted the red three thirty five on your brain. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, Absolutely. Yeah. I think. What do you prefer, red or? The sunburst. Well, I'm, I'm documented. I, although I've got a cherry three three zero myself, right. I'm not mad about cherry right. as a colour. And tone wise, the fifty nine suits my playing style slightly better. It's right. slightly smoother. Yep. Um, that's a that's sharp. But having said that, I could get a fantastic sound out of both of them. Let's, let's hear the um, the bridge pickup. Back. So, you know, you can get, I mean, obviously when you're manipulating the tone controls, you've got all the sounds here, Yeah. you know, and, um, but yeah, beautiful, fine. This is really the pinnacle, isn't it, Bob? Uh, the, these two, you know? these two, you know, if you've got these bases covered, you, you're, you're on the top of the mountain when it comes to the 335s. One yeah. joy of playing a 335, obviously these have solid blocks in the centre mm-hmm. to kind of minimise feedback. But yeah. one of the lovely things is when you are playing a bit of volume, you get, you the, the air inside right. here resonates and it blows on the inside of your wrist. Oh, lovely. It's, it's a nice feeling. You know, when you're hitting that, that high note and you're making that guitarist face in a euphoric and, and the guitar just blows wow. lightly on it's slightly so, erotic. Incredible. You see, I've managed to I've managed to sully the video already without talking about waiting, politics. I was waiting Here we go. To, <laughs> to, uh, but back to the guitars. So another thing is is these guitars are actually gonna be famous, aren't they? Because they're gonna be they're co- well known probably already, but they're actually gonna be part of a book, aren't they? Is that right? Yeah, I'm not sure how much we can talk about that. Okay, but you might be seeing these guitars more because yeah. they might be featured in a certain yeah, book. Yeah, they'll be a bit so. documented, and they they might yeah. they might be you know they might be turning up you know in an exhibition somewhere at some point in the distant future as well. But there'll be much more about that for our yeah. lovely viewers later. And it's really great to be back with uh, with my friend Bob, you know, because we have we've been away for a while, and uh, this is a new series we're doing. Yeah, which is going to be like fortnightly or weekly. So you've had, you've had yeah. some travel and some gigs. Even I've had some gigs, which is a miracle. Yep, we've been to we've been to Cuba and Skegness. Uh, I know I didn't no? get I didn't get to play Skeggy. Oh, okay. no, I only got to play Barnes and and Kilburn, Kilburn and Kilburn. you know Not London, bad. about bad. four miles Not apart. Not bad, Not but bad. it's all right. He he sold out Barnes. You sold out, didn't you? We Barnes. sold out the Bull's Head, yeah. Bull's Head and Barnes, which is I mean I played there many years ago, and I think I got about ten people. So. Mind you, I mean, the, the capacity, yeah. you know, they've been reducing the capacity systematically over the years. The capacity is only about 60 now, so yeah. s- selling that place out is not exactly the Budokan. So, guys, there will be a Bob and Ramon gig, actually. We, we are threatening to do a gig, aren't we? Yeah. Where well, we're going to play all the old stuff. But uh, until then, guys, we'll see you in the next video. So, from... Me? And, and from... Him? Me, as well. <laughs> Take care, guys. See you soon.